Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your weekend. Yes, Friday, July 26th through Sunday, July 28th. Okay, this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Um, just a note, I'm currently working on the, I don't know why I feel compelled to say this, but I'm currently working on the August readings. Um, so those are going to be coming out sometime next week. So keep an eye on that. Um, Keep in mind also that time is an illusion and energies are fluid, okay? So just because this is a reading for the weekend of the 26th through the 28th of July doesn't mean it has to resonate at that time, yes? Uh, it could resonate at any moment for you. All right, kids, so let's just dive into our pre-shuffle energies here. The first card that came out is strength, okay? But it came out on this side, so you see how we're facing the devil here. Um, I just heard fortification. There is some sort of idea that you might have or a belief or a strength that you're needing to draw on in the face of the devil here right now okay um you do have the nine of swords all right um and in this case i you know you have it this side of the card whereas it's this side of the card all right this side of the card to me feels a little bit better to me this feels like you're facing your fears you're facing whatever it is that is causing you anxiety and whatnot probably this devil energy here that's kind of like all up in your face um but in a sense you're looking past it it's almost as if you're not really getting caught on the swords in front of you you might be aware that the swords in front of you or the the fears anxieties that you might have may not be so valid they might be kind of false um made up also if maybe if they're not made up but you know you're you're looking at them practically and trying to see past them trying to see through them i i do feel like this is a a, a really positive side of this card or a positive way of looking at this instead of here where it could this is the traditional way of the kind of um the traditional form of the nine of swords it, and, and here it would seem like you're trapped okay you're caught in this illusion or whatnot you're caught by all these fears and anxieties but here you're facing it and you're also in the strength card you're facing the devil here um which is good keep your conviction all right that's what that that side of the card means and then you have the eight of wands but it's in reverse there is some sort of lack of communication here um but i think what this truly means with this lightning bolt here there's some truth some honesty some 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 clarity that um you might not be expressing right away you might have trouble expressing it may have something to do with this nine of swords energy all right um i, I do feel like there's some sort of truth honesty um that needs to be expressed and it could be somewhat catalytic i guess you could say because you do have this bolt of lightning which is reminiscent of the tower energy and it's pretty it can be pretty destructive but it can also in its destruction it can be kind of um a creative at the same time all right overall energy you do have the high priestess with her back turned but this is not such a bad thing okay um and i'll explain why in a second but then you also have the two of pentacles which is in reverse um and it's the side of the card where we're not seeing this person's face, this little, this young boy's face. It's actually this side of the card. There's almost an aloofness with this Two of Pentacles energy. Um, oh, I just realized this. You could be, look, if you look here, um, you look at the top, there are people sitting, standing on those balconies. There could be some sort of showmanship whoa 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 okay i'm totally getting it now so let's talk about this high priestess side this high priestess this whoo let me say that again this high priestess card all right this side of the card you see how her back is turned yes but basically you're behind the space the veil even that she guards and back here are two keys so it's in a sense the high priestess is here saying to you you have the keys to of knowledge to handle what it is you're facing right now with this strength card okay with the two of pentacles in reverse here it's an energy of not i'm, I'm no longer keeping up the show yes because this person looks like he's you know putting on a show for these people or at least these people are watching him right so either you're not putting on the show any longer 
or, um, oh shoot, what was the or? You're not putting on the show any longer, or you don't care about what people, the spectators, the onlookers may have to say about, you know, either this juggling act that you're doing or this juggling act that you are no longer allowing yourself or continuing to, to do. And it has a lot to do with this high priestess energy because of the fact that, you know, you have some sort of key of knowledge, keys of knowledge here to get you through whatever it is you're facing. I do want to say underneath this two of pentacles is the seven of cups, but it's the seven of cups on this side. On the other side, you see we have someone who is, he, he looks, he's blind actually, but here you have an individual you have an you have the person facing these seven cups but there's illumination here i just feel like for whatever it is you are facing whatever it is you are up against that you are needing to hold on to your strength here in the face of the devil and maybe in the face of some sort of conformity some sort of pressure um some sort of fear or anxiety and this could be i really do feel like this is external to you because you know the devil is standing in front of these two the the lion and the the woman um who actually is the empress in uh in this but um oh and then also the empress was underneath the seven of cups there but the empress was in reverse um but there's still some sort of communication that needs to be had uh, some truth needs to be spoken that may just be blocked right now to be quite honest that makes kind of uh, makes perfect sense mercury still is in retrograde okay guys so take that as it resonates and i would say don't rush yourself into any sort of communication that you're not feeling ready to engage in um, especially with mercury being in retrograde but also i feel like that devil energy that is that was in front of the woman and uh, the empress and the lion in that strength card is some sort of pressure some sort of pressure to and for some of you it could be some sort of pressure to like speak some sort of truth um and all that good stuff but if you're not ready if the time is not right then don't feel like you have to oblige don't have, feel like you have to comply okay there is a form a level of conformity i am hearing conformity when i'm like focusing on that that strength card with the devil that was in front of them and that absolutely has to do it could be very well be connected to that two of pentacles energy of, of no longer keeping up the show no longer going along with the vibe or the tribe like it's almost like an energy of in, well, it's definitely an energy of independence, but, um, you know, going in your own direction, really. I just keep hearing, no longer keeping up appearance. In a sense, for some of you, I am hearing no longer doing what you should do. I don't like that word, should. Um, it's, I, I don't feel like it's used too well. <laughs> it's used against people a lot. But that, that's exactly what we're talking about here. Well, you should do this and you should do that and X, Y, and Z. It's like, no, I shouldn't do anything that I don't feel is right for me to do. That's the energy that I'm getting here, okay? All right, I'm going to shuffle this. Give it a good shuffle. Huh, Knight of Swords. Look at that. Communication. Okay. What's on the other on the, on the side? Uh, the Queen of Cups. Okay. But she is reversed and her back is turned. Um, you might be feeling it really emotional. You might be feeling really defensive especially in the face of that devil energy that was on the strength card. And that absolutely could be why you might be holding your tongue right now. Now, given the right circumstance, if someone pushes you hard enough, I feel like you might, someone might explode. So be careful, you know, keep your wits about you. Don't really work on not really allowing anyone to get under your skin. But with that said, I mean, there is some serious emotion here. It's heavy emotion. All right. Oh, they're saying one more shuffle. Okay, one more shuffle. And then we're going to get started with the official reading. Yes? <laughs> Ace of Swords now. Good God, with the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Again, um, you guys know. I mean, you have the truth. You have the clarity. You know it exactly what it is you want. But some of you, you just have to communicate that when the time is right. Okay, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of July 26th through the 28th 
and beyond. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm giving this five shuffles. And then we will get started. Two for our weekend edition, Friday, July 26th through Sunday, July 28th and beyond. Three, oops. Whoa. Best messages, please, Spirit, for our weekend. Four. And a five. Hmm. Whoa, gosh. Okay, come on. Get it together, Eric. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Best messages, please, Spirit, for our weekend edition for the collective Friday, July 26th through Sunday, July 28th. Best messages, please. All right, that's enough. Okay, ooh, ciao. All right, so we've got the Queen of Wands in reverse and her back is turned. And then we also have this five of wands. There's some sort of explosive energy here. Um, okay, also the ace of wands in reverse, the three of cups in reverse. Yeah, the four of swords in reverse and the eight of swords. Ooh, honey, there is conflict. This feels a lot like inner conflict between the five of wands here, although it is, I am feeling it is um, from, it is influenced by some sort of external circumstance. There may be a differing of opinion um, in, your, in your immediate environment um, that's causing some sort of explosive energy. But to be honest, the explosive energy feels more internal, all right? Even though, you know, given the right impetus, the right push, it's you or this person that I'm channeling for might be a little explosive, especially with this <laughs> Queen of Wands energy here, which is in reverse and her back is turned, okay? Um, someone's not feeling it. Someone's not having it. Um, you do have the Ace of Wands in reverse, okay? The Three of Cups, and now the, the, the Ace of Wands in reverse here. Now look, look, there's more lightning striking, all right? Um, so I, I feel like, I feel like um, whatever this situation is for you, there was some sort of inspiration, some sort of insight, okay? Especially with that Ace of Swords that popped out right before I started shuffling the official shuffle. Um, this could have been a sexual encounter. This could be something that was really passionate that started out really fiery and, you know, felt good or something like that. But then something struck or some sort of insight came in suddenly or things just developed very quickly um, and somehow someone got turned off to the situation okay you do have the three of cups in reverse and in this sense i'm i'm reading this as i'm not talking about now okay you could have a third party situation uh, that's, I mean, take it as it resonates. If you don't already, if you're not already aware or of like a, a third party situation, I wouldn't go looking for any evidence of that. That's not necessarily what I'm picking up here with the Three of Cups. I'm picking up some sort of like a merry meet or a, a union or like a get together. Um, this could be just, this could be social, this could be friends, especially also with this Ace of Wands, this could be someone that you, with someone that you just met, you know, that's a, a new a, a new encounter, a fresh encounter. Um, I heard a chance encounter. This could have been a chance encounter that, encounter that has developed into something, I just heard, some, developed into something that more than you might be ready for or that you more or different than what you would normally vibe with. You do have the Four of Swords in reverse, which to me is saying you have the clarity here. I mean, normally this could be that you need to take a break or you need, you're, you're resisting 
some sort of insight or going within to try and figure out or seeing something in a different perspective. But here I feel like a lot, everything feels like you know exactly what you need to know about this situation and yet you're still bound, eight of swords. You still feel stuck, you still feel um, uh, confined. You know, this is, there is a bit of a mental prison here, but the beauty of it is, look at how loosely she's wrapped in that, in that rope. I mean, look at this side. In this side, it would seem that she could, there's no way of her getting out. Look at how tight that is. I mean, her, her, her arms are so tightly wound behind her back, you can barely even see her shoulders. Like, does she even have shoulders? <laughs> okay. But then on this side, look at how loose that is. I mean, literally, she could, li I mean, she doesn't even need one of those swords to break herself free. She could literally shimmy out of that. Like, I'm surprised those ropes aren't falling off of her right now. You know what I mean? Like, that's how clear as day this is for some of you, especially with that eagle. It's like you're seeing some, that eagle flying ahead. You're seeing something from a much higher perspective. All right. And yet you feel bound here. You don't, I'm hearing, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But yes, you do. And I just heard set the record straight. Obviously, there's some sort of truth that needs to be communicated, especially with that eight of wands that came out, which was in reverse. And it might it might just be because because both. Oops, let me put my phone on vibrate here. Both the. Um, uh, the eight of wands and this ace of wands here had that lightning strike okay so i think what's confining you guys the most whom for whomever is resonating with this what's confining you this the most is how sudden some sort of realization came into play or maybe even how sudden the situation started although that doesn't feel it doesn't feel like that was so bad like this this might be a situation that like took off really quickly or you might have met someone right quite randomly or like got into a situation really quickly which i don't feel like you were so upset about or was so bad it's just that once things started to to, to move forward there was an sudden insight that now changes the course of everything and that's where the Eight of Swords energy is coming into play here. The Eight of Swords is the only card that's upright here. For some of you, you do kind of need to sleep on it with this Four of Swords in reverse. However, the strongest thing I'm getting is that there is clarity. I mean, someone, the, the, this guy, the side of the card is facing out, right? And you can see that there's, there's a fire. Something's being burnt down. I heard something's being resisted. Whether that's a good or a bad thing, I take that as it resonates, take it with a grain of salt. I do kind of feel like what I'm getting with this, with the, the fire that's happening outside this castle, it's almost like a cleansing, a clearing. You know, it could be that um, something was set ablaze and, and you know, it might not necessarily first look like it's a good thing but ultimately i feel like this is clearing the fire that's happening in the background here is cleansing some stuff that no longer needs to be there for some of you and this is these are the this is mostly in the, in the realm of thoughts okay um maybe even beliefs I just feel like you're doing a heavy clearing of your past and there could have been a situation that's come up here that's kind of brought these, this situation back full circle for you to now say, okay, no, I really don't want this anymore. I have to really clear this away. And Queen of Wands, where someone was once really passionate and engaged, now they're just kind of like aloof and detached and not, not trying to participate in it any longer is what I'm, what I'm hearing. Now, I am... I am getting a little bit of a negative connotation or a negative feeling with this Queen of Wands here. Let me just double check and make sure this is the Queen, it's not the King. It is the Queen, okay, yeah, look, it's the Queen, okay. So, um, wow, oh my God. Oh shit, y'all, <laughs> hold on, okay, I'm gonna get to that in a second, but I, I am feeling a little bit of a negative connotation here with the Queen of Wands, but it depends on your specific situation. There is, I am feeling emotion here, okay? Um, 
yes, negative emotion, not feeling so good about something any longer. But, okay, it's one thing for her to turn her back and just say, I need to not focus this, focus on this right now. I need to look elsewhere. But she's reversed. So not only has she turned her back, but I think she's really trying to remove herself from the situation, okay? Let me show you what's underneath this Queen of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. More lightning. Light of, Knight of Wands is in reverse. More lightning, okay? Sparks of inf inf uh, inspiration, information also. Where once this was really hot and heavy, something came through that illuminated something that might have been pretty not so clear. And now the momentum forward has seemed to cease underneath that. There's that Eight of Wands again, but it's upright this time. I just heard you know what you need to do. The clarity is here. And you have this Pegasus up here too, which to me is representing a form of freedom. And I just heard responsibility in that freedom. So there really is something that you guys are needing to, to stand up against. And I'm hearing you know quite well what it is. But you need to take action. Release yourself from this mental prison and just take that action already, okay? I'm opening up a can of worms, but I want to see what's under this Five of Wands energy. Oh shit, y'all. Okay, I was, I wanted, I wanted <laughs> to look, I was being guided to look underneath the Five of Wands. Well, looky here, the King of Wands. You could be dealing with two fire signs, Aries or Leo, maybe a Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. So... Whereas the masculine or the king of wands here is in it, is engaged, the feminine is not. Now, when I'm saying masculine and feminine, I'm no longer really just talking about twin flames. I'm talking about the energies within all of us, the counterparts, okay? The, the, the masculine to someone's feminine. And you don't even, maybe you are an individual that would rather be... Uh, that are like is masculinely oriented but resonates more or is dating a masculine energy or you're more femininely oriented and is dating a feminine energy um, in that case i don't really know how to work that i would have to think about that for a second but take it as it resonates like place the, cir the circumstances or the scenario in your life as it resonates and don't really don't try and force anything um, if it doesn't resonate then don't take it but we have a counterpart situation here we have the masculine to someone's feminine and vice versa so the conflict here is between the, the, the masculine feels one way, but the feminine feels very differently. So maybe this is not an ideal match for you. Whereas at one point you guys felt like, okay, this might work as time progressed or as just the situation progressed. Now you're now the feminine's kind of like, whoa, I don't know about this actually. And yet, the, and, and with that, there's a feeling of being, uh, there's attachment, okay, I did hear that. But there's a feeling about being stuck, being, being bound in some way. That is really quite interesting. Okay, so let's move forward here. I'm gonna give this three shuffles and we're gonna get some clarity. And I actually do wanna clarify this in two different sections, two different spots. Um, I want to I wanna clarify what's going on with this Queen of Wands here to help you guys get some clarity. And then I'm going to clarify the rest of the story here. Actually, we're going to split it up this way. We're going to clarify this between what's going on between this King and Queen of Wands. And then we're going to clarify this scenario energy, which is that part. Okay, so let's start here. Um, all right. Uh, one more shuffle, but so far we have the Four of Cups underneath the deck. Um, unrequited love, potentially, or maybe you're facing some sort of missed opportunity, or maybe this circumstance that came forward to you isn't exactly what you thought it would be, um, or you're just not quite satisfied with it. Okay, well, so with this Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Five of Wands here, what's 
let's get some clarity here. What's going on with this Queen of Wands in relation to the King? The Three of Wands is in reverse so far. Already the Three of Wands is giving me an energy of not exactly being what you really decide. Good God, look at that. There's the King of Wands again. Okay. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, King of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Interesting, guys. Very, very interesting. So, um, a reciprocal situation. You might have a reciprocal situation on your hands here with the Six of Pentacles, and yet that's causing burdens with the Ten of Wands. That is so strange. There might be some really, yeah, there it is. Okay, what's happening here is, from whomever this is, there's some sort of, I want to say struggle towards commitment, but it's almost like pressure towards commitment. And maybe it's just too soon. That's possible. I mean, we have an energy that's very confident, that knows exactly what they want with this King of Wands coming out twice. And yet, for some reason, the Queen of Wands is just not having it. She's conflicted. She feels that this is too much for her all of a sudden. There's a strong sense of, like, a form of independence that she feels like she might be losing. Now, if you are the King of Wands that's watching this, um, that really has nothing to do with you. That is something that this is this is really a, a strong form of internal conflict. What I was getting with this five of wands here, and yet, yes, it is in fact due to external circumstances, but also this is something that she needs to work on on her own, which is also why she's turned her back, okay? But this king of pentacles is giving me a strong commitment energy, and yet, and it seems that the situation would be balanced with the Six of Pentacles, and yet it's causing stress, it's causing burden. It's, it's like it's too much right now for some reason, and it's causing indecisiveness here with the Two of Swords, okay? That's what's going on from the Queen of Wands perspective. And then we have the Three of Wands here, which is in reverse. So let's go over to this side of the situation, because this flew out first, um, but this is the scenario aspect of it. Something about this situation isn't quite exactly what somebody wanted. Maybe not the way they wanted it to turn out. Maybe someone doesn't want to continue to invest or continue to keep the ball rolling or keep the momentum going here. All right, so let's, let's go a little deeper. So clarifying the scenario with the Ace of Wands, Three of Cups, Four of Swords, all in reverse, and yet the Eight of Swords is upright. We already have the Three of Wands, which is in reverse. It's, it's an energy of, I mean, I, I want to say it's not what I wanted, is that's the feeling that I get from that Three of Wands in reverse. But that's not even how I really want to say it. I wish I had a better phrase for it. It's like it's not in alignment with me or it's not, it's not right for me. This is not on my path. This is not how I want to proceed forward. And yet, and yet, with this strong counterpart here, with the King of Wands coming out twice, that's where the lot of the true conflict is coming in and the feelings of being bound with the Eight of, Wands, uh, eight of Swords. Excuse me. Wow, this is a really interesting situation, you guys. Okay. Uh, let's define this more. I actually specifically want to define this Three of Wands more. Please, Spirit. For the collective. There's that Four of Swords again. Okay. Ah, and the Four of Cups again. Okay. Unrequited love, potentially. Missed opportunity, most likely. Disappointment, though. We have the Four of Swords again with the King of Cups now. And, oh, the Ace of Cups and Death.
Good golly. Well, looky here, y'all. Whomever this masculine is that's around you, that you're connecting with, if you're resonating with this reading, I mean, there's love here. I just heard passionate desire, okay. Death, transformation, ace of cups. I'm, I'm having trouble really pulling this out because like the definition out because like the ace of cups is like it's giving me an energy of self-love here but what do you do do you wow this is really intense i'm hearing let me sleep on it <laughs> by meatloaf with this four of swords energy there's a transformation happening. Either you're going to move forward with this, with this situation, like continue in the vein that you've been going, or you're going to transform. There might be some sort of emotionally manipulative energy, manipulative energy here with this King of Cups. I'm not going to lie, you guys. Okay, there might be. I mean, it doesn't feel that strongly. What it really feels like is someone that is very sure of themselves. I mean, the King of Wands came out twice, all right? The King of Wands knows what he wants and has no fear around going for it, okay? And I do feel like this is someone that's emotionally available, potentially, but they could be pretty pushy. And that might be what's turning you off a little bit. The strongest thing I'm getting from this Ace of Cups here is a sense of self-love, all right? There's a transformation that's happening in terms of what you really want, what you truly desire. And yet, you might need time. You might need time to, to mull it over, all right? Because the Four of Swords came out once. It was in reverse. I was kind of picking up that, you, you know, you have, you gained a change in perspective. So, okay, you might have approached, come, come into this situation from having a new perspective, from really working hard and finding a new perspective and burning down old ideals that no longer serve you, right? But now you find your, you could find yourself in a situation that was very, very similar to all of the things that you tried to work on burning down, and yet you're needing to take a break and like really sit with this and allow yourself to make some sort of decision, potentially. Now, death could be... Death could be a transformation from being single to being in a commitment. Um, death can, can symbolize marriage in that way because it is a type of transformation. The Three of Wands also, in reverse, could be what you've been waiting for is here. Especially with this Ace of Cups, the King of Cups. Wow. I want to get one more closing message here, guys, because this is, this is a lot. There's a lot of conflict here. I keep feeling like I want to say, what do I do? What do I do? I don't know what to do. Let me give this three shuffles. I just heard this is everything I've always wanted and yet it's not at the same time. Or is that just your fear talking? Is the devil energy that was in that strength card in the pre-shuffle just fear that you're having to stand up against? Closing message, please, Spirit. Closing guidance. What What do we do? Oh, shoot. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm going to stop there. Wow. Seven of Pentacles. The harvest. You're reaping the rewards, the benefits of all of your hard work. It's paying off. Ooh, Lordy. You have the six, okay, all right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. You do have the 10 of cups here, guys. You have the 10 of pentacles also. Whew, you have the emperor with the knight of swords. Good God, you have the six of cups, the nine of wands. There is, in fact, a deep connection, a soulmate bond here, but y'all, shh, you're resisting it, and it feels like for good reason. It really does feel like for good reason, because of 
all of the things that you have gone through with the soulmate soul connections or soulmates uh, 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 i'm sorry so called soulmates soul connections deep connections past life bonds whatnot whatever it's like i'm tired of this i'm tired of this okay but also this nine of wands has been your perseverance towards finding some a situation regardless of the circumstances that is a deep connection it's like you want it, but you don't want it, which is crazy, <laughs> but I get it, all right? You have the Six of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Oh, this, this right here is the source of the conflict for you. For the, whomever this Queen of Wands is, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords. You've come to a point in your life where reciprocity is key. You are absolutely putting to rest all of the situations in your life from the past that were not reciprocal, all right? And you have that ace of swords, you have that understanding of what true reciprocity is, okay? And then, so, but then with that, you have this emperor also represented by the King of Wands, the King of Cups, the King of Pentacles. The only king that we didn't get out here is the King of Swords. We got all, other, all three of the others. And no queens other than the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Cups actually did make an appearance during, you know, in the beginning, during the pre-shuffle, all right? But then you have this Emperor energy that's just like rushing in. Rushing in. And that might be unsettling for you. But then look here, look, 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 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles. This is everything that I've always wanted. And yet for some reason, it feels like it's not. I'm hearing things like it's too soon. It's too quickly. This, this can't end well. <laughs> There's a doomsday energy in all of this. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. Even though there might be some sort of doomsday energy, like like fatalistic energy or whatnot, I'm not getting any sort of indication that you're not thinking clearly, you're not seeing things clearly. Well, that's not true. That's not true. Two of Swords here. But yet, the Ace of Swords is also here. And this is the second time it's made an appearance. The clarity is here. You just don't know what to do about it. Queen, the two of swords. I'm hearing things like allow time for the situation to progress. I did hear situationship. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, also though, with this seven of pentacles here, this absolutely is a checkpoint. Oh, gosh, you guys. Okay, so also, this is in fact a checkpoint with the Seven of Pentacles. You've been through a lot. You do have an idea. Or you do know what you want moving, moving forward, okay? You may not necessarily know how exactly to get there, and that is where a lot of this conflict is coming in. But for some of you, if things, are, if things feel like you're moving too fast, that's also part of this whole realization with the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. It's like, this is your understanding of it. It may be a situation in which you've been in a situation like this before, and you've worked so hard to remove yourself from any knight in shining armor energy. I don't need, the Queen of Wands is saying here, look, Holmes, look, bro, I don't need a knight in shining armor. I don't need you to rush in here and and tell me, you know, X, Y, and Z, whatever. Like, I, I don't need you to rush in and attach so quickly or something like that. Reciprocity. Some of you, I, I, wow, holy moly, you guys. There is a deeper understanding of what true a true reciprocal relationship would be. This does kind of feel one-sided. I'm not going to lie. 
All of this king energy is upright and facing forward. The only queen energy that we've had between the queen of wands and the queen of cups was with her back turned and reversed. There is definitely an energy here of, look, I don't need a knight in shining armor. But that's where the conflict is coming in for this queen of wands, maybe even this queen of cups also. Okay. I don't need a knight in shining armor. I'm not looking to rush into anything. I'm looking to take my time. And I just heard reciprocal. Ten of pentacles is all about time, being in something for the long haul. Ten of cups, you could say it that way too. Um, you see it that way in the sense like developing over time. I, mean, I keep hearing not rushing anything. So yes, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, you do have this fulfillment on your mind, but you're in no rush to get there. And there may be someone around you right now that's represented by the Emperor. There is so much masculine energy coming forward, okay, in this reading. But there is potentially an Emperor around you that's like, let's just get this started already. And the Queen of Wands is like, whoa, buddy. It ain't even like that. <laughs> In some cases, I mean, whatever, take it, take it as it resonates, take it with a grain of salt. But I don't feel like anyone's trying to be malicious here. And that could be why your this Queen of Wands energy is feeling so, oh, you're, you can't see that, hold on. This Queen of Wands energy is feeling so conflicted right now. Okay. I don't, I mean, I want to keep clarifying things for you guys because I want to help you get to some sort of resolution here, but you have to, that comes with time, Four of Swords energy, um, just sitting with it, resting. And it's so crazy because it's, yes, this is a situation in which, you know, it feels like you're getting, you're being handed exactly what you wanted, but it's too quickly. And that actually could be a test for you. That absolutely could be a test for you. After everything that you've been through, I'm talking to the Queen of Wands here, and the Queen of Cups, because they are the same person, the Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups energy. After everything you've been through in your life so far, are you going to recreate that same cycle now that you do have someone that's coming forward and like rushing in saying, here I am, let's do this. Are you going to just buckle with the devil energy in, on that strength card? Are you just going to give in? Are you going to stand up and say, no, I'm not ready yet. Or no, this is not the right time. Or no, we need to take this a little slower. Or no, we need to, we need to do X, Y, and Z first. This is nuts, y'all. This is absolutely nuts. And this is a really tough situation to be in. Oracle Guidance from the Crystal Mandala. All right. I was kind of conflicted between Sacred Rebels or Crystal Mandala, but Crystal. We're going to go with Crystal. Mandala. Crystal Mandala. There it is. Ooh. I don't... I'm not... I'm not really getting any sort of resolution here because this is up for you to for the individuals involved in this situation to decide upon i really kind of want to say queen of wands queen of cups the ball is in your court okay take that as it resonates i just i just before i'm sorry i i know i'm i might i'm kind of rambling a little bit but i just there's so much coming through. This is a really unique situation. This is something that I've never really seen before with this six of pent with, with this with this reciprocity energy. Seeing it as not seeing, really starting to see situations in which someone is riding in, I want to say roughshod, but not even really, just riding in really forcefully, really quickly, you know, shoot first, ask questions later. That's this Knight of Swords energy. But it's also about communication, okay? 
there might be some something that's being communicated to you and everything really, really fast or really forcefully or whatnot. And you're starting to understand that, wait a second, that's not really reciprocal. Because like I said, it does feel very one-sided. And that's the side of the masculine energy. And I don't want to discourage any anyone from you know, taking action when they feel that they, that it's right or they're, they're, they're called to. But for this collective or this part of the collective that I'm channeling for here, there is a, I mean, reciprocity is taking on a whole deeper meaning. And it's, it's almost mind blowing. And it's like, this is great, but it's, but I feel that conflict in you guys. I feel it like shit, man. Who to thunk it? <laughs> you know? All right, let's get your oracle card for this weekend. This one. Okay. Card number 15. Grace, uh, Archangel Raphael and Malachite. Grace for the grand gesture. 15 boils down to a six, y'all. Six is a number of balance and harmony. Six is also a number of reciprocity. Holy moly. All right. Here we go. Grace for the grand gesture. We bring you the gift of grace for the grand gesture. Although there are times when even the smallest act, such as choosing to think a positive thought, is enough to transform your world, there also comes a time for the leap of faith, the grand gesture of unconditional trust that will free you from the past and empower the, the, uh, the universe to gift you with a new future. The grand gesture is the big step, the willingness to say to the universe, I trust you and I know it is time for life as I have known it to give way for a bigger, bolder experience and I am willing to allow you to lead me into it. You then make an offering which confirms your declaration and empowers the universe to reward the faith you have demonstrated. The grand gesture cannot be forced. Let me say that again. The grand gesture cannot be forced. If it comes from a place of, quote, should or uncertainty, then you are not ready. The grand gesture must be unconditional. It must be something you offer, not for what you can get in return, although the rewards will be rich, but because you are willing to offer something of yourself in service to love. When it comes from this place, the grand gesture is a trigger for divine grace to express itself in your life in an entirely new way, surpassing all expectations and showering you with blessings. Good golly, Miss Molly. I mean, if that isn't on point, y'all. And that's exactly what I was saying. I was picking up that should energy. Well, X, Y, and Z is pre being presented to you, so you should act in this way. And that's literally what the... The, 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 the strength card in the beginning of the reading facing the devil was saying. The devil being that should energy. Conform to me in a way. Wow, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!